This year's Island Games might have been postponed because of the pandemic, but that hasn't stopped many of the Falcons youngsters from getting active. I've tried to organise a 5k run for Falkland Islands Community School to participate in and it's for the Falkland Island Games Association and it's just so we can get more people, more kids active and more people for our heads per capita for the race. The 5k race invited all member islands of the IIGA to log a race time using a mobile app with winning categories including best times and the biggest participation. There are a lot of people saying that people wouldn't want to run and do the sport, but I think they're doing it now, so it's good. If we can get all 200 people in the school running, then it should really bring up our, the Falkland Islands participation rate. Yeah, it'd be a really nice thing if the Falklands could get close to the child, but, but yeah, it's hard being a small community, but hopefully it might work this year. The challenge was taken up by both students and staff alike with everyone given the choice to run or walk the five kilometre distance. And those who ran certainly didn't hold back, including Ben, who posted the speediest oh, wow. time of all. I think that's just about the fastest I've ever run, probably similar for Jake as well. There's quite a few people decided they'd do running because um, we, we had the option to walk it instead. And I think it was 30 odd. Ran it um, with some good times in there as well. Also a talented badminton player, this was Ben's first taste of an Island Games event. I was too young last time, um, hoping to go to the Commonwealth next year and I would have gone to the Island Games this year, so I was really a bit gutted when it was cancelled. At the final count, 651 participants completed the international race via the mobile app. Times were logged from different locations all over the world, from Shetland to Orkney, Gotland and the Isle of Wight with the mix of ages completing the fixed 5k equally as impressive, ranging from year sevens to the principal himself. And my understanding is that uh, in the uh, other islands involved in the games, the events are being run virtually. Obviously we've got the luxury here of being able to do it uh, in reality on a Friday afternoon. And uh, it just goes back to our magnificent students who wanted to inspire us to do this. I'm currently walking at the back end of, of year seven just making sure that everybody's safe as we do a loop around uh, up to Sappers Hill and back around uh, the new road down to, the, uh, down to Ross Road West. The school's aim to record the biggest concentrated effort in terms of participation hasn't been officially confirmed by IIGA yet. However, the final number of students who completed the challenge came in at a really impressive 195, providing a huge boost to Team Falcons and maybe even inspiring a future generation of Island Game stars. It's a good way of, uh, of ending a Friday afternoon and whilst some of our students are, are clearly trying to get their best times for a 5k run, uh, every one of our students is out here participating, that's a, a real credit to them. Yeah.